Hi folks! Have hackers ever broken into your home or office computer network simply because you were unable to prevent them from accessing a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth module in your PC? It almost happened to me a few years ago and this is also why I made this video. You will learn how to make your computer 100% secure against this kind of attacks by removing or electrically disabling the model even if it is soldered to your single board computer. I know that disabling can also be done in software, but can we trust BIOS and a lengthy Wi-Fi programming library stack not to be broken by hackers when they have as much time to do it as they want? In this episode, you will also learn how to reuse a removed Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth module to build an external USB 2.0 communications adapter that can be plugged into any of three USB ports on any of your PCs. A major advantage of a plug-in adapter is that it can be removed whenever you don't need it, especially when you are about to go to vacations for a week or more. In this video I will demonstrate removal and reuse of a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module from a Banana Pi R1 open hardware and open source router with ARM architecture. Of course, this can also be done with most mini PCs and laptops with 32-bit x86 and 64-bit x64 architectures. However, before continuing, I'd like also to remind you that if you decide to do this project, it is entirely on your own responsibility and you may also lose warranty if you remove a Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth module from your single board computer. Okay. Let me show you how to remove the module. This module has antenna pins from this side and USB and power pins from this side. This side is crucial because if you ruin this side we won't be able to use the module anymore. But these antenna pins are not very crucial because they are doubled here and here. These are actually the layouts for the antenna connectors like this to be soldered on. But here is also a zero ohm resistor that can switch between these contacts and these three contacts and it, it is soldered so that it connects to this contact. So actually to reuse the module I realized that I just have to solder antenna here, a connector here and here and of course turn this zero ohm resistor or do some other connection here. So I would even be able to stick the antenna with its connector so uh, I don't have to cut the antenna's connector to connect it here. So I started to work from this side. So uh, first I removed as much zinc as possible from this contact and then I started slowly to lift and this part gave way and the other one too. Actually I was able to work with my iron tip here and here because it's long enough to cover three contacts so it was not a problem actually and the contact groups are actually uh, at the right distance so it was not a, a problem to lift it a little bit and later on I stick this screwdriver in between to lift it up but it wouldn't go so I realized that it was actually glued about here I used this alpha knife to cut the glue and I was able to raise the card like this and then I saw what the problem was but these connects were still holding so I moved it up and down up and down and I had to do about five or six times and then it let go the model was free so I got the module and this main board relatively intact I could put the antennas back here maybe I would have to replace this connector but it was nothing that would prevent me to reuse this model so we'll try to do it and of course this uh, computer as a whole is okay so I can use it. it it works without this model as well as with it okay I'm going to show you how we're going to build an external Wi-Fi Bluetooth adapter here we have voltage regulator. It's LM317T um, chip. And here we have some resistors and capacitors that would enable us 
uh, to get 3.3 uh, volts out of 5 volts that is present on a USB outlet. So next we're gonna stick this module to this PCB and we're gonna connect it to the power supply and also to the USB signals. Okay, before we go on I need some explaining to do. On this picture here we have a voltage regulator that is based on LM317T chip. What is important here is only this voltage divider. We can see that we have 680 ohms and 1.1 kilo ohm and this spells 3.3 volts of out of electricity. What's also important about this voltage regulator is that it can provide enough of electrical current to power the Wi-Fi module. So if you want to use another voltage regulator you can of course do so. But uh, I use this one because I use it in many of my projects. Here we have the module layout. We have LED pin. This pin is used just for indication and you don't need to connect it. But if you want to, you can put a LED and a resistor on. Here we have three USB 2.0 standard compatible pins. These are ground, D plus and D minus. And the fourth one is not USB 2.0 compatible and that's why we need a voltage regulator that I've shown before. Here we have power down pin. Uh, with this we can shut down the module despite that it is connected to the power supply. And here we have four antenna ground pins and two antenna signal pins. The first one is for the first antenna and the second one is for the second one. Here we have two zero ohm resistors. These are important uh, if we have um, antenna outlets on these positions because if we turn the resistors we can also send signal to these antenna outlets. As you can see it might be convenient for my project if I did so and I did so so I mounted these uh, outlets to actually simplify my connection of antennas. But these outlets are actually very hard to mount and you may also offer the first option. Let's go on. Here we see my first test. I, I would not connect the module without testing the voltage regulator. And here we can see that it has got exactly 3.32 volts and this is more than good enough to connect the module. And now we have a last test of a module. Uh, I've used a Raspberry Pi 4B for this test. First I listed USB devices without module connected and then I connected the module and released the devices as you will be able to see. Next I also tested the module on PCs, uh, laptops and so on and uh, it works everywhere, provided that uh, device drivers were available. Okay, now I'm going to solder this tiny antenna connector. This goes here. Okay, well, here's my Bluetooth adapter. It's working right now. You can see it. It's got two antennas and it's inbuilt in a black box from prototyping. I had to drill these two holes and the third one here for two USB cable. As you can see here we have two antenna connectors. It's very hard to solder the antenna outlets on this little uh, module. So I suggest that you simply cut this cable here and this cable here and you simply solder each cable to the three contacts here and here. And of course we have this USB pins. I would like to say that you don't have to connect this power down pin. It works perfectly without connecting it. And here you have a LED pin. You can put a LED like this and another resistor to have an indication of this module operation. Thank you for your attention and uh, I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.